Hey golfers, Troy Klongerbo here with US Golf TV. I'm the editor in chief, and today we're going to take another look at some golf equipment that you guys have been seeing on the Golf Channel. We're here today with the C3i Wedge. And if you guys have been paying any attention at all, you may have seen Mr. 59, the second Mr. 59 in PGA Tour history, chip back working with the C3i Wedge and really talking to the benefits. And, and the Golf Channel kind of moves through these series where they're working through different clubs. You guys have seen the XC1 maybe, uh, perhaps you've seen the GX7. We've done videos on both of those and maybe we can link them up somewhere here. Uh, we'll put them for sure down in the meta so you guys can check those out too. But uh, the C3i was kind of the next uh, the next step there. And so we, we reached out, we ended up getting our hands on one and we spent the afternoon here chipping around with it. We tried out of bunkers, we tried out of uh, tight lies, thicker thicker lies, more grass, less grass, uh, and we came back with some interesting thoughts. So uh, first of all, I want to talk about the golf club. We're going to start from right from the top. We're going to talk about the golf club and what it was like to unveil it. So we literally unwrapped it today. Uh, we peeled the plastic off. We we you know saw it glisten in the sun. And the first thing you notice is that we've got the, the dark chrome, the black chrome face. Uh, now this club, if you guys are familiar at all with the XE1 wedge, it's very, very similar in concept. Uh, with, with some of the things I'm going to talk about here in the future. I'm going to talk about the, the blade, the, gl the glide sole, but one of the major differences I noticed was the dark chrome. So if you guys tend to play a lot of golf, hopefully you love playing golf in the sun. It's going to give you a little bit of a limited glare, which is nice, but then it also gives just kind of a softer, different appeal to guys who like the dark chrome looks. So that was one of the first things I noticed. We took a look at the shaft, the grip. It's got a standard, it's got a standard, looks like it's probably a, a dynamic 300 shaft cut down. It's the same exact length as a 60 degree wedge. This has 65 degrees of loft, but it's the same exact length, so it's not going to be anything too abnormal from what you're currently hitting, but when you dive into the technology and what it really is trying to do, all of the technology lies in what they call an auto glide sole. I think with this club they call it the auto glide 2.0, and what that auto glide sole does is it really, really enhances what the core design of a sand wedge is meant to do, which is meant to have bounce and help golfers. If you're a golfer that when you're chipping, when you're hitting out of the bunker, when you're hitting out of thick rough, that you're really always having trouble with getting the ball to go a, a, a consistent distance, or you're having trouble getting it out of bad lies, this club could really help you out because I wanna talk about what they call the Auto Glide 2.0 sole. Now this sole, is designed in a way that it makes the leading edge. When you set the bottom of the club down, what's called the bounce, we've actually talked about that in a different video, it makes the leading edge sit significantly off the ground. Now I wanna talk about a couple of different lies and how that may affect you having that leading edge work in such a unique way. So first of all, if you're hitting it off of a tight lie, let's say you're hitting it off of very short grass or you're hitting it off of dirt, or you're hitting it off of very firm sand in the bunker, it's not going to be very beneficial for you. Having that leading edge off the ground due to this bounce that I explained is going to lead to some, uh, some very, very bad shots. It's going to lead to what we call uh, sculling it in the forehead, which is not good. But what this club is going to help you with is if you're hitting off of softer lies, Maybe it's a spongier lie in the fairway. Maybe it's super wet outside. Maybe the grass is thick. Maybe the ball is sitting up. Maybe the sand is super fluffy. This is gonna help golfers escape situations that maybe before took a lot more skill, a lot more practice, and a lot more finesse. And that's because of this blade. So when I was working with this club, I went and worked out of the bunker, and it just got done, well, snowing yesterday, but it, 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 the, the bunkers are really wet, which meant they were like packed down. But because they were wet, they were actually pretty easy to dig out of. They weren't dried out hard pan. And I was able to really use this bounce. And by just taking a normal squared off swing, I was able to really get this club to just effortlessly pop the ball out of the bunker, which was awesome. Now I tried to do some goofy things with it out of that bunker shot. I tried to open it up. I tried to use the bounce a little bit to hit one higher. I tried to do a couple different things and the club, the club didn't seem to want to really cooperate with me. It led to a couple of skulls. Uh, led to a couple shots that, that did not end up on the green. Uh, and that's because it's so pronounced back here that it's really designed to simplify the short game. So when you guys are using this club, one of the things I wanna, I wanna make sure you guys understand is that you guys need to be hitting this club with a very square stance. 
Now square stance would mean that the club face itself is aimed directly at the target, that you've also got your body aimed parallel left, you're not opening up your stance, you're not opening up your feet, that you're pretty squared off because if you do anything where you start to open up and try to lay this club out like a lot of other wedges, you're going to run into a lot of inconsistencies unless you're trying to hit a, a miraculous shot out of thick rough. So while also testing out the C3i wedge, we wanted to hit some full swing shots because we know that we're not just hitting wedge shots, we're not just using our wedges for one purpose. It's not just for chipping, it's not just for bunker shots. We also use wedges to score from 40, 60, 80 yards out. So we went ahead and hit some 75% to 80% um, uh, wedge shots and we really noticed that this club is, first of all, it performs pretty well from a full swing. We are able to get the ball to fly high and land soft, but if you guys are trying to hit different shots, you're not going to be able to really hit it low or you're going to have a harder time hitting the knockdowns. That's mainly because of the 65 degrees of loft and the way the club's set up. But as far as the ball flying high, getting it to land soft, my normal 60 degree, I actually have a 58 degree. A normal full 58 degree for me is about 90 yards. So this club, I would say if I was hitting it full, I, I'd probably be able to pull about 75 total out of it. Um, but it's going to go high and both the shots I hit spun really nice. So it can be used as well from the fairway for your longer shots. Just understand that the ball is going to go high and it's going to land pretty soft. So make sure you understand that you have to fly the ball to the whole location. So yeah, when you guys are hitting the ball out of the, the thicker grass, out of the rough, this bounce, the way that it's designed is it's going to leave the leading edge higher off the ground, which is going to help you guys not chunk it. It's going to help advance the ball out. It should pop out much easier. And that's exactly what they market on the commercials. You'll see the ball pop out, land softer, fly higher. And that's also why it's got 65 degrees of loft is to help you guys do that. Now, one other thing I wanted to take in, and I understand this is a brand new club. We just unwrapped it today uh, and the grooves are fresh. But they've also designed the center of gravity, which you guys may see it on the website, it's called COG. The center of gravity is designed in a way to really optimize the spin. And I didn't really realize that until I opened it up, I hit a couple shots, and the ball was literally bounce, bounce, stop. And, and after doing some further research, I found, yeah, this club is actually optimized. It's actually designed to spin the ball more, which if you guys are struggling with keeping the ball on the green, if you guys are struggling with uh, putting any spin on the ball whatsoever, having a club that's designed to increase your spin around the green is going to help you guys hold more shots on the green, keep some closer putts, and, and hopefully save some shots while you're playing. So that's absolutely something that I noticed, and when they market it, when they say that it's optimized for more spin, I'll tell you, it, it is. It's, it's spun a lot more for me, and that's if you, you, guys, if you guys use it correctly. If you guys are understanding how, how this interacts with the turf, it's absolutely going to help you. So the C3i wedge, if you're a golfer that struggles with hitting the ball, chunking it, sculling it over the greens, and you just can't seem to get your short game figured out, the C3i would be a nice addition to your bag. Now, there are a lot of things that if you're trying to develop skill in certain shots, the C3i might not be a great fit. But if you're just looking for a shot that, just get me out of the bunker, Troy. Just get me up onto the green, get me within 15 feet, and I want to be able to have a chance to make a par or bogey. This club could really help alleviate a lot of the struggles that some of you guys are, are facing every day. Now, at US Golf TV, we really want to help you guys improve your game beyond just giving you a club that's going to be a magic fix-all. So we have tons of instruction, especially with chipping. Todd Kolb, our director of instruction, has done some phenomenal stuff on chipping. He's talked about the bounce, all the things I talked about in this video and how a club interacts with the turf and spin. He's talked about all this and you guys can use those as further resources to hopefully develop your skills to where you may not need a C3i wedge to advance the ball to the bunker or to, to do different things. So I would really encourage you guys to check those out. We've also got a full review on the C3i wedge written on our website and we dove into some more of the specifics, laid some of it out. We, guys, we can drive you guys to the website so you guys can uh, take a look at this club a little bit more, hear from Chip Beck, uh, the spokesman for the club. But we hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys need uh, anything more, you guys feel free to leave comments below, interact with us, tell us your thoughts. Have you used it? Did it work? Did it not work? Uh, we'd love to hear from you guys in the comments and uh, continue that dialogue. But if you guys want to learn more about anything else in the game of golf, we're posting stuff all the time on our website, US Golf TV. Follow us on Twitter, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're posting stuff every week, a couple times a week. Feel free to engage with us there. 
And until then, we'll see you guys another time. Put the brakes on your derail. Oh man. I didn't really like, that was too, went too deep there. <laughs> A little too clean. You know, there's fall, there's winter. I mean, I don't mean to pick seasons. You guys may prefer different seasons. That's a totally... On the bright side, I got even